Fingerprint locks are the favorite method nowadays, but are they really high-tech security or just a trick? It's said they're not as safe as promised. Could that be true? The Mythbusters put it to the test. Grant installed a highly secure biometric lock and registered his fingerprint. The system uses an optical sensor that scans the fingerprint, and if it matches the database, it automatically unlocks. Adam and Jamie set out to break it. They first practiced with standard fingerprint readers. Jamie registered his print on a computer, then pressed his finger onto glass to obtain a copy. He printed the fingerprint on paper and tried to fool the system, but the computer rejected the attempt. Flat surfaces don't trick the sensors. Adam tried another method. He copied Jamie's fingerprint onto acetate, etched the ridges onto a copper circuit board, and dissolved the copper with acid to create a three-dimensional mold. He coated the mold with gel, producing a 3D fingerprint replica. This time, after a long analysis, the computer accepted the replica. But would it work on Grant's premium lock? Jamie lifted Grant's fingerprints from a CD, enlarged the image, digitally enhanced the blurry areas, then scaled it back to life size. He repeated the acid etching process and created a gel duplicate of the fingerprint. Adam pressed the gel onto the sensor. Alarming result, the lock instantly opened. He even tried the printed paper copy, and once again, the lock opened. So check your home fingerprint locks carefully. Even though technology keeps advancing, it's always better to be safe.